Hello guys, here is a new Unity tutorial about the free asset Poly Brush that I use here with my free asset, the Low Poly Game Kit. First let me show you how to install this, it can be downloaded for free from the asset store and imported into your Unity project. After that you have a new folder called Procore Poly Brush and in the tools menu there is an option to open the polybrush window, but I will come back to this in a moment. So as you might know in the low poly game kit we have some terrain parts, like this one here, this green hill. And these are meshes, imported meshes, they have a fixed geometry and what I want to do now is to use the polybrush asset to change this geometry inside of Unity. So let's see how we can do this. I drag in a new mesh, a new green hill mesh. Then I add a mesh collider to this, because we want to walk onto this hill with the player. Like this, you can see this works out of the box. But now I want to modify the geometry of this green hill mesh. And this can be done with the poly brush, so I open up the poly brush window. And you have a lot of options here, but in this video I will focus on pulling and pushing vertex positions of my mesh. This is the first tab here. And with this and the mesh selected, you get this brush here, it's a kind of sculpting brush. You can change the size of this brush, or the strength, and also this inner radius if you like. This is a kind of fall off for your brush. And now you can go ahead and click onto your mesh, and this is like the terrain tools, you are actually sculpting your mesh with this brush. With the left mouse button pressed, you are adding geometry, and when you hold the control key pressed while you are sculpting, you are taking away geometry. So this is something really new, I would say, sculpting meshes inside of Unity. But as always you have to know what you are doing, because look at this, you start the game and then you walk with your player onto your mesh, but what happens, this mesh collider is actually taking the original model into account. So what we have to do now is to bake this new mesh that we created with Polybrush. That's also simple, but you have to be careful. Let's open here the Bake Vertex Dreams. These vertex streams are the vertices that we changed with the poly brush. And when I bake this now and apply it to the current mesh, I change the geometry of my original mesh and in most cases I don't want this. So what I prefer and what I do here is to create a new composite mesh. This is a new asset that represents our poly mesh model. So let's do this and store it in a separate folder. I called this folder Polybrush Assets. Okay, this is the new asset and I saved this and the only thing that I have to do now is to tell the mesh collider that it should be based on the geometry of this new poly mesh and not on the original mesh. So you just go ahead and drag this into the mesh slot. And that's it guys, now we can start the game and let the player walk onto this new geometry. A really amazing feature for free. Okay guys, there is more to the Polybrush asset, I will come back to these features in one of the next tutorials. If you like this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, and if you want to help it grow, think about supporting me on my Patreon. Thanks for watching, stay awesome, and see you soon on JNM.